The film begins in the land of Kondak in 2600 BC, where the realm had flourished for centuries. However, the tide turned when the tyrannical king Octon seized control, enslaving his populace to extract a potent substance known as Eternian. Octon forged the crown of Sabic, aspiring to harness the power of a formidable demon. An elderly man discovers Eternium and becomes the target of other slaves, who hope to gain the king's favor. A young boy named Galen Christian assists the man in escaping and hands over the Eternium to one of the king's soldiers. Contrary to expectations, the elderly man is stabbed and cast off a cliff. The boy's father intervenes, cautioning him against heroic endeavors. Nonetheless, the boy snatches the Eternium from the soldier and flees, only to be captured and condemned to death. As his execution looms, he vanishes, reappearing before the Council of Wizards, who anoint him as their champion, endowing him with the powers of Shazam. Legend has it that this champion confronted Octon, annihilating him and his palace, before disappearing without a trace. In modern times, Kondak is under the dominion of a mercenary group known as Intergang. They are in pursuit of a fugitive named Adriana Tomas. Evading capture, Adriana crosses a security checkpoint with her brother Kareem and companions Samir and Ishmael. They reach a cave where Adriana seeks the crown of Sabbath for research. While Kareem waits in the van, Samir's body plummets from a cliff. Intergang mercenaries arrive, cornering the trio at gunpoint. After Adriana secures the crown, the head mercenary forces her at gunpoint to relinquish the crown. However, Adriana begins to recite the inscription within the cave unwittingly awakening Kondak's presumed champion, Teth Adam played by Dwayne Johnson. The mercenaries attempt to subdue Adam, but he quickly dispatches them one after another. As the cave starts to crumble, Ishmael is believed to have died. Adriana, along with Kareem, narrowly escapes, but they soon encounter Adam who continues his onslaught against the mercenaries, destroying helicopters and tanks as he advances towards their van. In a dramatic turn, a rocket made of Eternium is launched at Adam, injuring him upon detonation. Struggling to maintain flight, Adam falls and is subsequently rescued by Adriana. Contrary to earlier beliefs, Ishmael survives and is revealed to be the leader of Intergang, seeking the crown for his own gain. He instructs his agents to track down Adriana. Meanwhile, superhero Carter Hall, Hawkman, portrayed by Aldous Hodge, confers with Amanda Waller, played by Viola Davis, regarding Adam's reawakening and the ensuing turmoil. Waller enlists his assistance to assemble this team, the Justice Society of America. This includes Maxine Hunkel slash Cyclone, Quintessa Swindell, capable of manipulating wind and sound, Al Rothstein slash Adam Smasher, Noah Centineo, who possesses a suit that enables him to enlarge, a legacy from his uncle, and Kid Nelson slash Dr. Fate, Pierce Brosnan, who dons a helmet granting him sorcery powers. They set off for Kondak to apprehend Adam for Waller. Upon contact with the helmet, fate is beset by a premonition of devastation, including what seems to be Hawkman's demise. Adam regains consciousness in the bedroom of Adriana's enthusiastic superhero fan son, Amun Badi Sabangui, thrilled to meet Kondak's champion. Adam, moving through walls, formally acquaints himself with Adriana, Kareem then shares with Adam how the people view him as a hero and guardian, despite Adam's insistence that he is not a hero. Compelled by this revelation, Adam soars into the city where he encounters a statue commemorating the champion. Amon cleverly lures some intergang mercenaries to chase him, aiming to draw Adam's attention. The strategy succeeds, and Adam engages the mercenaries, drawing the Justice Society's notice in the process. Hawkman and Dr. Fate disembark from their jet to rescue two mercenaries Adam had dropped before pursuing him themselves. Adam clashes with the duel, and soon Cyclone and Adam Smasher join the fray. Despite their combined efforts, the situation escalates. Adriana steps in to confront the Justice Society, criticizing their lack of intervention in contact while Intergang took control. She argues that Adam is the first to rightfully challenge the mercenaries, though Hawkman maintains that justice does not necessitate killing. Later, Adriana finds Adam and shares insights gained from the Justice Society about his past. It's revealed that Adam's battle with Octon was fueled by vengeance, and in his wrath, Adam's unleashed power not only annihilated Octon and his forces, but also caused extensive destruction across Kondak. Consequently, the wizards confined Adam within the cave where Adriana later discovered him.
As the Justice Society attempts to apprehend Adam, he flees following Adriana's plea to protect Amun. Ishmael, determined to seize the crown, invades Adriana's apartment, targeting Amun and Kareem at gunpoint. In a desperate struggle, Kareem manages to delay Ishmael, allowing Amun a chance to escape, though Kareem is wounded in the process. The confrontation intensifies as intergang mercenaries pursue Amun, only for Adam to arrive, ready to unleash yet another fierce onslaught against the attackers. Ishmael seizes Amun and makes a swift getaway on a hoverbike, with Adam and the Justice Society in hot pursuit. Despite their efforts, Ishmael eludes capture. The group reconvenes at the apartment, where Dr. Fate has administered medical attention to Kareem's injuries. Fate also consoles Adriana, advising her not to hold herself accountable for her husband's death at the hands of Intergang. In a bid to extract valuable information, the team captures two mercenaries for interrogation. Adam, preferring a more direct approach, intimidates them for intel, leading to a revelation that Ishmael is headed towards a mine. A disagreement between Adam and Hawkman over their operational tactics escalates into a physical altercation, causing havoc within the apartment. Their fight inadvertently leads them to discover the crown hidden in Amun's room. En route to the mine, Adriana and Cyclone engage in deciphering the inscriptions on the crown. Adriana's initial interpretation of the inscription as life is the only path to death is corrected upon realizing the inscription was read upside down. It actually proclaims death is the only path to life. Kent shares his ominous vision with Carter, yet he remains hopeful that the future can be altered. Upon reaching the mine, Adam launches an assault against the mercenaries, decimating their ranks as they close in on Ishmael. Expecting Adam's arrival with the crown, Ishmael holds Amun as leverage, compelling Adriana to surrender the crown for her son's safety. However, Ishmael still attempts to shoot Amun, even as he puts on the crown. Adam swiftly intercepts the bullet with his speed, but the unleashing of his powers incinerates Ishmael instantly. In the chaos, Hawkman uses his wings to shield Adriana, Dr. Fate protects Amun, and Adam Smasher rescues Cyclone from the explosive aftermath. Witnessing the devastation he's caused and Amun's injury, Adam attempts to flee but is intercepted by Hawkman, who compels him to reveal his past. Upon Ishmael's mention of the name Hurit, Adam recounts that Hurit was initially chosen by the wizards as their champion. After Adam's wife was murdered by Octan's assassins, Hurit transferred his powers to Adam to save him. Tragically, the assassins fatally wounded Hurit with an arrow, sending Adam into a vengeful rage against Octan. Acknowledging the destruction he tends to cause rather than prevent, Adam relinquishes his powers by uttering Shazam, allowing the Justice Society to detain him. Adam is taken into custody by Amelia Harcourt, Jennifer Holland, while the Justice Society attends to Amun and plans to return him and Adriana home. Meanwhile, in Hell, Ishmael encounters demons that appoint him as their champion, transforming him into Savik, a formidable red horn demon who amasses an infernal army to besiege Kondak. The Justice Society faces this new threat but finds themselves overwhelmed. Amun, alongside Adriana, Kareem, and the citizens of Kondak, mounts a defense. As the heroes confront the onslaught at the ruins of Octan's palace, Dr. Fate devises a strategy to preserve Hawkman's life, engaging in combat with Savik while reaching out to awaken Adam. Adam, trapped under the water and on the brink of consciousness, envisions his late wife and Hurit welcoming him, suggesting he is ready to join them. However, Hurit insists Adam's time has not yet come. Adam surfaces, regaining consciousness and invoking Shazam to reclaim his powers, prepared to confront the demonic force threatening Kondak. Adam hastens back to Kondak, where he witnesses Savik fatally striking Dr. Fate. Hawkman, Cyclone, and Adam Smasher push forward to engage in battle. As Savik seemingly impels Hawkman, fulfilling Fate's premonition, it's revealed that Hawkman utilized Dr. Fate's helmet to conjure illusions. Adam channels his primal combativeness to confront Savik. The climax sees Adam overpowering the villain, seizing him by the horns and tearing him asunder simultaneously eradicating the undead menace. After the battle, Adam and the Justice Society part on good terms, with the people of Kondak cheering him on as their champion. Taking a stand as the protector of Kondak, Adam destroys Octan's throne and chooses to leave behind the name Teth Adam, adopting Black Adam as his new identity. 
This decision marks a new era for both him and the city he vows to protect. The smoke clears, a mysterious figure makes an entrance, seeking out Adam for a conversation. This figure is revealed to be Superman, played by Henry Cavill, setting the stage for an important and possibly transformative encounter.